I'd like to demonstrate integrating one of the XB200 family of switches into a control logic solution using a custom add-on instruction developed by Prism Systems. This will allow us to integrate diagnostic data from the switch directly into our project. Behind me I have an XB208 switch as well as a control logics processor that I'll be using for the demonstration. I've already configured the controller and the EN2T Ethernet module in the project. The next step is to add a generic Ethernet module to communicate directly with the XB208. I'll name it XB200. All these configuration parameters and all of these steps are in the documentation available on Siemens Microsite for the XB200. Enter the IP address for the XB208 switch. And then I'll enter the SIP configuration parameters, again available in the documentation. The minimum RPI supported by the XB200 is 20 milliseconds, so that has to be changed from the default of 10. And that's sufficient to establish communication between the 208 and the control logics. Now, to get the data in a useful format, I'll import the add-on instruction. Now that I've imported the instruction, I can use it in my main routine. So configuring the instructions requires creating a few tags, one for the instance of the add-on instruction, one where I define the input tag, the input comes from the generic Ethernet module that we created previously, and one the output tag, which the tag will use based on our UDT that has the meaningful data. I'll call that Scalance XB208. And I'll identify the input tag, the source of data for this AOI. Now, download this to the processor. Switch the processor into run mode. Now my AOI is being executed. And if I open up the controller tags, I can see the Scalance XB208 tag that was created for me by the AOI. If I open monitor tags, Expand, I can see the AOI, the UDT for the AOI breaks out the power source. There are up to eight power sources. And if I expand power source one, I can see that I am powered. From power source one, status is okay. And for example, power source two is not connected, not powered. If I want to see the individual link state for all the ports, expand this. And I can see that ports three, four, and seven are connected. This demonstration present one of the main benefits of the switch's ability to communicate Ethernet IP, specifically that you're able to integrate it cleanly into a control logics solution. Everything that was used here, including the documentation for the add-on instruction and the add-on instruction itself, is available at the Siemens microsite for the XB200.